Good morning, everybody. We're back with day 10 of Advent of Code. This is personally the farthest I've made it in Advent of Code before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Today we are playing with a very simple CPU that has two instructions. It has add x and it has a no op. Um, so it looks like the main thing today is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is loop over this and interpret these instructions. So um, there are two important concepts today. We have the uh, current value of the x register and we have the cycle count. <coughs> uh, the no op instruction, as you might imagine, does nothing after one cycle. The add x instruction takes two cycles to complete um, and adds this number to whatever is currently in x. So that's the only slight wrinkle. Otherwise, we basically just cruise down the list of instructions and then this is how we calculate our score. During the 20th cycle and every 40 cycles after that, um, we are going to compute the signal strength, which is the cycle count uh, times the uh, value in the X register, <coughs> I think. Cycle number multiplied by the value, yes. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let S equal load sample for line in s.lines. So that's us going over the lines. Uh, now I think what we can do, let mute x, uh, initially contains a one, I believe. Let's confirm that. Starts with the value one, it supports two instructions. Now, the, uh, the slight wrinkle I mentioned before is that the add x instruction takes two cycles to complete. What we really like to do is and I guess this should be i dot enumerate. <clears throat> what we really like to check is if um, i, let's see, the 20th cycle uh, equals 19, that's the 20th cycle, um, or i greater than 20 and i mod. 40, let's see, I think we actually want to say let i equal i plus 1. That way we can just not think so hard about it. <laughs> so if i is 20 or i greater than 20 and i mod 40, mm, no, i has to be greater than 40. Uh, Let's say i greater than 40 and i <laughs> minus 20 mod 40. i minus 20 mod 40 is zero. How about that? I think that's right. Uh, <clears throat> then we're going to, that's what we'll actually add to our total. Let the tote equal zero. At this point, we're going to take the current value of x times <laughs> i. Okay. Now I think that's right. And then at the end, we'll print line tote. Tote. Okay. Now yes, the wrinkle I was talking about. This is the wrinkle right here, is that we want to be able to do this check at the end, but the fact that uh, this instruction takes two cycles uh, means that this is not actually quite right. Now, I think we actually don't want to enumerate. We're going to have a different uh, cycle counter, and we can actually start that at one, so then we don't have to mess with this. Uh, we can delete this. So now let's replace i with cycle. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it globally and then I'll fix the if. <laughs> okay, cycle. Because now what we can do is, uh, let's see, what can we do, what can we do? Yeah, the issue is that we need to check between the two cycles in the addx. I thought I came up with something for this, but maybe I didn't. 
I think the issue is that now the, the loop over the lines is competing with the loop over the cycles. So I think if we gathered up all of the lines, uh, then we could loop over in terms of cycles. That might make more sense. <clears throat> but I think we can, we'll, we'll just stick with this way for now. Hmm. Let's see. Then we can go loop for cycles. Hmm. I mean, actually, a cute thing to do <clears throat> is that after every add x, we could just throw in a no op to pad it out. Maybe we should do that. Let's let's do that. Um, let's see. For line in s dot lines, that makes our lives very easy. Then we don't really have to think at all. Um, let me. Uh, new lines. You say it's a vector uh, for line and s dot lines. If line dot starts with add x, then we just do new lines. But well, we're always going to push uh, new lines dot push line. And then if it started with add or add x, then we're going to do new lines dot push uh, another no op. Perfect. So now, if we do line in new lines, it should all be taken care of. And now we just have to think about this x tote cycle stuff. Now we just actually parse the lines. Let's just go ahead and debug line, and I will allow dead code. All right. So we got add x15. We've got our new no op we added, minus 11 minus six, or plus six, minus three, and so on. Perfect. And cycle plus equals one. Now it looks like we should do the iter enumerate again, right? <laughs> uh, let's replace cycle with i, put this back, let i equal i plus one. I line great now all we need to do is actually parse the line so uh, if line equals no up do nothing well I guess there's not really any reason to check that right we should really just say starts with not no up, add x. Then we need to parse it. Um, line dot split ASCII white space dot int one <laughs> unwrap uh, dot parse unwrap, and that should give us. It needs to be an i size for sure. Um, we call it v, I guess i size uh, x plus equals v. Ah, but we can't update it immediately. We need to actually update it on the next instruction. Hmm. I see. So we should actually do this the other way. We should do the no op first and then the add x because the first instruction of the add x is a no op. Okay, that is better. Now, i size <coughs> i as i size. Thirteen. Okay, we're close, but not quite there. Thirteen. <laughs> that smells like an off by one error to me. 
Uh, I guess we're just, I should have copied this. I guess we're gonna paste it each iteration. All right, 420, 20 a cycle. Then it should go, okay, it should have gone to 1140. Register X has a value 19. Okay, so I think what we need to do actually is just this X I debug tote. There, that should be a lot less output too. So 21, 20, 420, good. 19, 60. Oh, right. 1560 is 1140 plus 420, so that's fine. Okay. Oh, let's debug x times i, just to see that. All right, so we got 420, 1140, 1800, 2940, 2880. This one is wrong. This is supposed to be 18 times 220. How is that? Um, minus 11. Um, 19x. So are x is wrong? Something's wrong in here. We miss something. That's kind of frightening. It's weird that it's at the end. It's weird that it's at the end, I think. Hmm. No op, no op, no op. It might, uh, I wish they'd give us the answers for this one. Well, I guess this one they would at least tell you the uh, we're off by one somehow. Well, I guess we can just debug the. That's gonna be a lot. But let's see. Forty-one eighty two twenty nineteen. So why is our? Um, does X get? It doesn't get reset, right? That be clearly it doesn't get reset because the other ones work. <coughs> Okay, so we know it's correct at the 180th cycle. Uh, it's 16. And then for some reason, all right, between, between here and here is where the problem is. Well, really, but okay, yeah. So from here, so let's see. 180th cycle, let me, let's go look at our sample. Sample. What? D10 sample. Line 180. All right, the next one. Oh. Oh, right. Because each of our. We can do it like this. At x norm. Um, oh. Okay, so 180, we got this no op. Fine. Uh, yeah. So then we get we get minus nine. This is 180. This is we get minus nine. Oh, but I don't know what x is actually. Oh, we do know what x is. X is 16. All right, so we got 16 minus nine is seven plus 18, 25, uh, 26. I can't. This is ridiculous. I can't just count these. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, so we want to take. Yeah, why is this wrong? Basically, is what I'm wondering. Minus nine, eighteen, one, two, nine. Minus one, two, minus thirty-seven, one, three. Fifteen. Minus twenty-one, twenty-two, minus six, one, two. Oh, whoa. 
minus 6, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. Oh, oh, no, then it does the this. We have too many. It looks like maybe our cycles get messed up somehow. This is crazy. Okay, if i is 220, x is 19. So we get minus 6, 1, 2. It looks like this 1 is on the wrong side, is my guess. And what line is this? This is on line 220. Hmm. Are we supposed to Hmm. Not sure. That's on line two twenty. I mean, I know normally in the rules that um, that we wouldn't add that because it's on line 220. But uh, okay, let me put that back how it was. And I think this is completely wrong. All oh, right, let me just take off the plus one. Yeah, no, that's totally not right. That's not right. We do need the plus one for sure. Um, let's see. The other thing I was considering is what if we should do it at the top? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we have to do it at the top. That doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. That's the right answer. <laughs> okay, great. Continue to part two. Seems like the register controls, oh boy, of a sprite, specifically the sprite is three pixels wide and the X register sets the position of the middle of the sprite. Okay, at least it's only one dimensional. The sprite's horizontal position puts its pixels. Okay. single pixel. Let's commit this. Take a break from the, the difficult reading. <laughs> Day 10, part 1. This is why we were doing the thing with the. F no. Now it is just 40. We don't care about the 20. For more than three pixels of the pixel being drawn, the string. Okay. Sprite position. <clears throat> draws pixel in position zero. Oh boy, I'm not following this. Carefully timing <laughs> the CPU instructions and the CRT drawing operations. 
the sprite is positioned such that one of its pixels is currently drawn. It produces a lit pixel, otherwise it leaves it dark. Okay, so I guess the sprite initially begins Okay, position zero. Uh, okay, so the sprite is three pixels wide. The sprite begins here. Okay. Add x, 15. It draws zero. CRT draws pixel in position one. Okay. We finish. Add x, 15. This is where the sprite is. Wow, this is wild. Draws this. Okay, let's skip over this for now. Allowing the program. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh god. <sighs> okay, so east. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to draw, we only draw one pixel each cycle. Okay, that, that's fine. Let's try this. Uh, let mute, we'll call it screen, and it'll be vec, uh, bool, uh, what is it, 39, it's 40 by 6, 240. Okay. Oh, uh, false. <laughs> okay. Carefully timing the CPU instructions. All right, I'm trying to think about this. Let's take out our debugs. Let's see if I can add that to the book. Ah, they're all in one chunk. All right, we got our screen. Got our screen. Now, it seems each cycle we need to draw a pixel. Okay, carefully timing. Determine whether the sprite is visible the instant each pixel is drawn. If the sprite is positioned such that one of its three pixels is the pixel currently being drawn. Okay, so if x, all right, all right, I see. All right, let uh, px b uh, cycle wait, do I even use cycle anymore? no um, i oh, whoops, let, this is the pixel it's just i mod 40 um, it first draws the zero with pixel then so on this is the current pixel being drawn for the cycle. Current pixel being drawn for the cycle. Let's let's change the name of this to I is cycle. <coughs> Great. All right. So this is the cycle. Oh, it's actually is it? It's not even mod forty actually. No, it is, it is the, yes, it, it is mod 40. Because this, this px value is what we're going to compare to our x. So this is, I guess that actually makes sense. px is now pixel x, it's not even just pixel, perfect. So this is the pixel currently being drawn. We need to check if px in um, x minus 1 to x plus 1 yeah I think I think you have to you can't do it like Python I've been writing a little bit of Python recently if x minus 1 to x plus 1 contains px uh, this means the sprite is visible then we will set screen. Oh, why did I do this? This this is just back new. Screen.push true. 
else screen dot push false. All right, so there's our screen. <coughs> and you may be able to notice that we can actually, so if, if true, push true, simplifies to screen dot push, uh, we can just push this directly. Okay, so push, this is the current pixel being drawn. Current pixel being drawn. Uh, we, don't, we don't do comments here. <laughs> okay, we should still get the same answer as before, 12880. Now we just need to interpret it as, um, as an image. So for um, p in screen, actually, what we can do, we can do chunks forty screen dot chunks forty p in row if um, if p then we just print, actually we're gonna print something each time, so we'll just do uh, print uh, if p, we print a hash, else we print a dot. And then out here we do print line. Just to reference this, give that a shot. <laughs> What does it say? <laughs> I can't tell what it says. Hmm. Allowing the program to run to completion. All right, so we need to check our, uh, let's check the sample. Okay. And then we're just gonna have to, um, well, actually, hold on. Let's do, let me do this. Um, instead of right, uh, instead of print, we'll do right to S, uh, right line, S, and we have to use standard phone to the right, and then we'll just check if this matches what we were supposed to get. It looks like it doesn't quite match what we were supposed to get, so. I see that right away, um, but we can still um, print like S here. Yeah, so I can see that this is not right. Let's see how many. So this is forty. Oh, the I think the fortieth character. Yeah, this is forty character. The forty-first character. Did I say forty-one? The forty-first character is the new line. Okay. Uh, this is actually, okay, we got this, we got these, uh, two, ah, uh, there's, okay, there's a mistake already, weird, so it does look like we are, begin executing, so where does it go? Do we if we it would be great if we go wrong in the example. And it looks like we do. Finish executing add X. Oh, I think it draws at the end of the cycle. So I think we actually we do this part down here. Yeah, that looks more like it. That looks right actually. Very funny. Okay, load input. I still, I cannot really, okay, I think, is that, that's a C, J, what, eight capital, oh, there should be eight. It looks like we like wrapped around, 
let's see, C, J, A, P, that's four, J, R, E, F, let's try it, F, C, J, A, P, J, R, E. That's the right answer, okay, great. Uh, why is this one over here, I wonder? <coughs> Oh, I guess that's just how these displays work, right? Don't they, they like wrap around? Okay, well, we, uh, <laughs> our, I guess we got our stars. <laughs> Have a nice day.